In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect MPK Mini Play to FL Studio. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. Using any model of MPK keyboard is extremely simple. You will be able to connect it to your PC or laptop and then consequently FL Studio. So to start, connect it to your device using a standard USB cable. So you plug one end of the USB cable into the MPK Mini and the other one goes into your PC or laptop where you will be using FL Studio. So after the device has been connected like this, download the software for the MPK Mini. This is important to have running on the background, so it is going to be the program editor. You can find it available on the official website, so go to akaipro.com, click on downloads at the top right corner of the screen, and you will find all of the MPK models here. So under keyboards, you can browse through all of them. They are going to have the Mini MP MK3, Mini 2, Mini Play MK3, and Mini Plus. So just browse through all of these options and make sure that you update the firmware first and then you can use the program editor. So download it from this link. Once you have the program editor downloaded, let the software run on the background. You can adjust all of these settings if you prefer. I'm not going to go over them in this video because the purpose is to show you how to connect it to FL Studio. However, like I said before, you can control all of them here. Now, open FL Studio. Once you have the MPK Mini connected to your PC, go to Options and then choose MIDI Settings. You can also simply press F10 if you prefer. Once you go over to MIDI Settings, you will find it under the input list. If it is not appearing here, this means that it is not being detected by your PC, so keep that in mind. Once you choose the MPK Mini Plus, the most important thing is to make sure that it is enabled. With the Enable option ticked, you are good to go. It should now be usable within FL Studio or any other software of your choice. So I hope I was able to help you. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing. As you can see, according to the channel metrics, 83% of the people watching our videos are not subscribed. By subscribing, you can help us make higher quality videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.